Hi guys, another quick video for you. Um, I, this one is on answering eight markers. So I'm just going to run through, uh, I've come up with kind of a structure that should help you, especially if you're struggling with what to write. So eight markers are going to basically say assess or evaluate. Now overall, they're going to be asking you about maybe pros and cons. So up here I've put maybe the success of different strategies and um, the impacts of different um, hazards or different uh, top down, bottom up strategies. Uh, management strategies if it's um if it's top down bottom up again or could be asking you about reasons for something and we'll get to that at the bottom so first of all you do need to have a very very quick introduction and that will just be to say generally what you're going to talk about so maybe define a key term um, and generally tell the examiner what you're going to talk about then you need three main paragraphs first paragraph one is going to be two points that are going to be four the question, so assess the success of top-down strategies in an emerging country. Could be the dam that you're doing, the Sardar Sarabar dam. So two uh, fours, so P-E-E, -E, follow that structure, point, explanation, evidence. And make sure that you develop your points. So in business studies, they use this thing called BLT, which is because this leads to, therefore, you can use any other connectors that you like, but it just does make sure that you develop that point. So make sure you haven't just said, you know, it brings economic development to the country or, or it's good for electricity if it's the Sardar Saravar Dam. You need to say why that electricity is important for attracting TNCs. Therefore, the country can develop because the TNCs will bring more money and jobs into the country, etc. Now, make sure you use facts and figures because without facts and figures, you will not access the whole eight marks. So that's your first par main paragraph. Your paragraph two is your cons or the points against. So again, the points, maybe two points against the Sardar Saravar Dam, why it's bad, um, it you know destroys the environment, etc. Or it's not very good for developing the um, economies of rural areas, for example. Again, make sure you use PEE structure, point, explain, evidence, or point, evidence, explain. And make sure you develop your points using maybe BLT or some other uh, connectors. So they're the main two paragraphs. Then the final paragraph is overall. So you're going to come to some kind of conclusion here over whether it's the pros or the cons that are best. You might decide that they're about equal and that's fine. Um, that's OK. So that's your final paragraph. So which is best, which is worst, etc. Now, you might be asked a question that doesn't really give you pros and cons. But um, for example, asks like assess reasons for. OK. And in that instance, you will still need to give four points. But you'll have to decide like which is the most and which is the least important. So your conclusion paragraph will be the same where you'll say like this is the most important point or this is the least important point. So it's the same kind of format. You'll still need four points for the eight marks, but you won't be it won't be two for and two against. Overall, it will be because it will be evaluate or assess the success of something. But it could be what um, evaluate the factors that are involved in something so you need to make sure that whatever it is you use four points that you develop your points okay because this leads to therefore as a consequence of this some kind of connectives and make sure that you use facts and figures otherwise you won't get the eight mark so that's just a really quick way um, to structure your A markers now if you're doing 12 markers at A level or 20 markers at A level you can kind of use the same structure but you'll use a lot more sophisticated language you'll develop your points even further and if it's 20 mark you'll probably stick in an extra two points but if it's a 12 mark to be honest for a level you're probably going to going to really use four points the same two four two against but really really develop them and if you're thinking that you're not you haven't developed one or two that well will stick another one in so this format can be used for an eight marker 12 marker 20 marker at gcse and a level so good luck guys see you later